If you're looking to live stream to a service other than the presets that are built into the Blackmagic software control, you'll want to check out this ATEM quick tip. This will work for any service that can receive the commonly used RTMP protocol for streaming. Platforms like Vimeo, Brightcove, Hopin, and more. Let's start off with the ATEM powered on and plugged into the computer. You'll need to locate the streaming XML file on your computer that connects to the ATEM. For a Mac, you'll find it in the Library, Application Support, Blackmagic Design, Switchers folder. I'll put that on screen for you just in case, and on a PC, it's under the Program Files folder in Blackmagic Design, Blackmagic ATEM Switchers, and in the ATEM Software Control folder. Since I'm using a Mac, I'll navigate to the Switchers folder by clicking Go at the top of the screen and then selecting Go to a folder. It's here that I can type in the location and click Go to take me there right away. Once you find the streaming XML file, you can open it in a text editor and grab your RTMP URL and streaming key. I'd recommend making a copy of this file and storing it on your desktop in case you mess up and need to revert back to the original. For this example, I'm just using a dummy Facebook page that I use for testing purposes. Here's where things get technical, so make sure to pay attention. We need to take one of these services' blocks of code and duplicate it for editing. I'll look for the service tag, which you can see highlighted here, and then I'll look for the end service tag denoted by a slash in front of the word service. We're going to highlight, copy, and paste this entire segment at the bottom of the file. Make sure it stays within the streaming tag and doesn't get pasted after the closing streaming tag. Now I can change the name. I'm going to call this Facebook test page. The URL is where I'm going to paste my RTMP URL and we'll skip over the streaming settings, but you could theoretically change your streaming bit rates if you wanted to set those. Now it's time to save the file with a simple file and save. Your computer may ask you at this point to enter a password in order to overwrite the original file. From here, you can open the ATEM software control. If you already had it open, I recommend closing out and reopening it. Once it's open, select the output tab on the right-hand side of the screen, navigate to the live stream section, and in the platform drop-down menu, you should now see your new streaming destination. If you're ready to go live, you can copy in your stream key and you're off to the races. It's that easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.